Hi everybody, in this video I will show you how to arrange, simply arrange at home or a pub uh, can levitation or beer levitation on the uh, beer glass. All you need to have empty can, so you have to be sh really sure that the can is empty, that there is no beer or something like that left. What else do you need? You need to a little bit change the shape of the can from the outside, so I will a little bit push inside, I will like to push inside the shape so that I get a little bit change the shape from the downsides of the can. Now I can start to try to levitation, okay, it's not always successful and you need a really good practice, you need to work really hard, you need to get really the balance in your hands to arrange the right position of can so that it's levitating. It's really not so easy, but after quite a good practice you can do it. You can. This is to show you how to move with a straw on the bottle only with putting your hand close to the straw. What do you think? Why is it possible? Why it is working like that, that the straw is attracted by your hand? What is causing this? Why is it like that? You can see, I put another hand here. So, this is quite amazing. In this video, I am going to show you how the free energy engine can be used as a free energy generator and creator of electricity. In my previous videos, I showed you, on YouTube, I showed you how this free energy engine works. It is working on a very simple principle of uh, magnets this attraction. I put the magnets on these rotation parts. I use very strong neodymium magnets. When I put it closer to this rotation part, it is causing the rotation. When I put it off, the rotation is not working. Once again, okay, the rotation is not working now. Now I would, I would like to show you how we can use this free energy engine as a free energy generator. We will put in this bulb, but first I would like to show you the bulb. I use the bulb that is operating on a very small amount of electricity. It's enough for this, this standard battery. I used it, this bulb with LED because this is generating only small amount of electricity and so that it is visible. Okay. Now we'll try to put this bulb on these wires to connect it and we can try ok it's connected, we can try the experiment we will start the rotation ok it's rotating already and now I will put this wire here ok we can see it is lighting and I put it off it's not lighting once again you can put it here when we put the magnet moment, and we put my head here. Okay. You can see it's operating. If we add the magnet here, it will rotate forever and we can have the never ending lighting. Okay. Hi, this is to show you a very simple trick which can be used at the party and it's quite amazing. Okay, I will put two matches inside match box like this. Okay, so it's between. Okay, it's in match box. And I will put between these two matches one match like this. And I put a question which you can put on the party. Which side, when I, when I start the light between these uh, two matches, which side will be in a fire first. There, this side or this side? That's the question. What do you think? And I start in the middle. Which one will always be first? What do you think? Think about it. Now I will show you the result. So you can bet with somebody at the party. You can make some bets. And now you will see which side will be always first. One more time. Sorry for that. Okay, I put it off too quickly. Okay, so look. Which side will be first? You can see, no side. So nobody will never win because 
it will never touch this or this side, never, because it will always jump off the match in the middle. So that's pretty funny trick at the party to impress your friends. That's all. This is to show you a very simple trick with coins and match. I will show you how to do it. I will just balance one coin over another and I will balance match over this coin. Okay? That's it. It's balanced. And now the question is, I will put this plastic cover or plastic box, it's covered from all sides. I will put it over this match. And now the question for you is, how to move with the match inside without making the coin falling down or how to make the rotation I cannot without touching the box from outside is it possible what do you think yes I can tell you it's really more than possible now look how to cause the rotation I will just take very simple thing the balloon and look I will cause the rotation without touching the match okay you can see the match rotated and it fell down without any touch of the box. I didn't even touch it. Okay, so this is a very amazing trick. See, think about it, it's, it's quite funny. You can do it at a party, you can bet with your friends how to do it. That's all. Thank you.